Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines. Today we're gonna to go over how to set up the HTC Vive and connect it with your phone. So the Vive has a really cool little thing that you can actually connect with your phone and get notifications on here. So basically you don't have to take this thing off while you're playing. It's got built-in microphones on the bottom. Obviously normally you would have headsets on so you can hear what's going on in the world. It's a little limited now, so you can only make calls, take calls, or do the same thing with text messages. There's not really a lot of system-wide notifications or anything like that, but we'll go ahead and set it up for you and show you how to do that and basically work around the system. I expect the functionality to expand it over the coming months, of course, but for now we have text and calls. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna press the system button on the Vive controller. That's gonna open up your Steam overlay. You're gonna to wanna to go down here to the Vive home area. Now that's gonna bring up the Vive dashboard here. On the right, you're going to see the little notification. This is, this is actually going to be the software section where it's going to connect to your phone. So you're going to want to go on your computer in the software settings and make sure that you follow the prompts to set up the phone. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go into the Vive app settings. So you obviously just pull up the Vive, go into the settings tab here. You're going to want to go ahead and do set up a phone. While you're waiting, of course, go ahead and grab that Google Play or Apple App Store app. This is going to work with either iOS or Android. Go ahead and get started here. Now it's going to scan for your phone, so make sure you have that Vive app open and ready to go. Give it all the permissions that it asks for and all that sort of thing. And once you're ready, it should be able to find your phone and you should be able to pair it with your computer. Now the Bluetooth actually comes from the Vive itself, not from your computer. So you don't have to worry about having a Bluetooth dongle or anything like that. The Vive actually has the Bluetooth built in so that you don't have to worry about such a thing. Of course, you go through your usual Bluetooth pairing requests. Make sure you allow it to access contacts and call history or else this will not work correctly. All right, so once it's connected, you can go back into your HTC Vive and you will see it on there. Make sure, of course, that you do allow notification access. The app will ask you for that sort of thing, but that's pretty important for the process to make sure that it can get the calendar entries, alerts, and other notifications on your device. So now that the Vive app is running on my phone, we're gonna go ahead and go back into the Vive itself and we're gonna check out the interface settings. So what you're going to notice here is that it shows no notifications now instead of the setup process that it was showing before. All right, so while you're in something, it's going to show you, hey, look, I sent myself a text, which, okay, normally, obviously, you're not going to be getting that sort of notification. But when you want to see that notification, you will go ahead and hit the system button again. And it'll now show you over here, hey, you have a message from this person. Here's a preview of the message. That's how long ago they sent it to you. Once you go in here, this will actually bring up your current notifications. Now it's not gonna show you all the text on your phone, it's only gonna show you the current notifications. So for now, you can't actually make text or anything like that from scratch here. You can only reply. So if I wanted to reply to this person sending me the message, I can go ahead and hit reply. And then of course you have the quick replies, which are something that you set up in the app itself. So for now, I've just got these couple of things. I can say, all right, there we go, I'm lost in VR, send food, okay, that's, that's nice Valve comedy, love it. Of course, again, since I sent myself a text, it's going to pop up here and show that I received a text. If you want to call this person instead of texting them, since you know there's only so many quick replies in here, you can again, of course, hit that call button, and that's going to start calling them right now. So from the interface, it's going to actually call that person, and you're going to be able to have a phone call here. And then, of course, if you want to hang up, you would go ahead and hit that hang up button when you're done. And there you go. That's the whole thing. So. For now, that's all the functionality there is with the Vive, but I can guarantee that HTC will be adding more in the coming months. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to check out all the rest of our HTC Vive content, including all the setup videos if you need a little bit of help with getting this thing set up. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video and check us out on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you're at, we're at. Thanks for watching. Till next time.